Alrighty, so this break is supposed to kick off at um, 5 o'clock, and it is 5 o'clock right now. I'll let it roll for a few more minutes, let it show up on people's pages, and then I will get started. Um, we will be doing all of the boxes that I had posted in the break. Um, if there is confusion, I apologize about that. I was basically asking uh, two options. Um, one... If you guys wanted to me to just cancel the break altogether, because as the message said, um, I barely am making any money on this. Like I'm literally thinking I'm gonna break even on this. So, um, but I thought that I was gonna lose money on it, and um, and then I was that wouldn't be fair to for the other option was to take some boxes out. So I just was going to do a vote on take some boxes out or just uh cancel the break and I actually had more people vote for taking the boxes out but then I said that my math was wrong. I'm breaking even on this break. Um in case anyone doesn't believe me, uh literally okay, so there were seven teams that didn't sell. Um and out of those seven teams I got like thirty bucks. And this is how much eBay that's my processing. This is how much I got from this break. 221. In front of me, you'll see 200 and about $221 worth of product, literally. Um but this does not include shipping. It also doesn't include uh what else? Um supplies. It also doesn't include the $20 or $30 I upgraded $30 eBay fee that I pay per month. So it's the first time that it's ever happened where it was like right on the border of whether I'm gonna make money or not. Um, I should be fine, but this break, I don't, I don't know. I did the I did the last break, and the last break I I made some decent money. And you know, if I make more money in my breaks, then I will sometimes even throw in an extra box or be more generous with my supplies. But since this break, like what I said breaking even if that um i will be more strict with my supplies just because you know i pay for everything i pay for supplies i pay for everything even the paper that i print the labels with i pay for the um bubble envelopes so <clears throat> it was it was sort of frustrating to see that I was going to lose money, but I think I'm going to just break even, which is fine with me. I don't mind breaking even um, on my breaks, just as long as I don't lose money, which I thought was going to happen. But uh, once again, if you don't, if you don't believe me, this is how much money my all the teams sold for: two twenty one plus thirty. I got thirty bucks for the other seven teams. So what you see in front of me is two hundred twenty one. Well, not what you see in front of me but what we are going to open so each of these are 22 plus tax so we got 88 plus tax so about 90 95 bucks plus 120 plus tax so that's about 130 plus 95 so that's about that plus that doesn't include shipping it doesn't include uh, fees or that does include fees that does include shipping though so I'm still gonna have to pay for shipping so that's gonna drop a lot after this break um, that does include supplies envelopes like uh, bubble mailers so yeah it and it also doesn't include the six hours that I spend sorting all the cards and doing all the breaks so that's what the message was about I was either going to have two options to just cancel the break or just take some boxes out. But um, I do have it listed in my football break that if I don't make any money, then I reserve the right to do that. But I don't have that. I don't think I have that listed in my baseball break. But anyways, uh, breaking even. So we are going to do the whole product. And like I said, you know, if, if, it, if I even make some money, I will even throw in some boxes or be extra generous with supplies. But um, that wasn't the case, so not going to be extra generous with supplies. I mean, I, the cars are still going to show up to you as the same condition that they get open, but just not going to be extra generous with supplies. Like, before I'd sleeve all parallels out of this even. So, um, 
I mean, also just uh, I, I I'll do the break here in a few minutes. I'm just letting it show up on people's feeds, but also you know even just bidding, bidding up a, an extra dollar or two, or I won't say dollar or two, but maybe even like four bucks. If everyone bid up an extra four bucks on their teams, then there would be plenty of money, and then um, I might even throw in an extra box. But I have all these boxes out in front of me, though, because I let you guys choose whatever uh, Chrome boxes you want. Uh, I had 15. Now I'm down to 12. Last break, they chose three. Um, out of the three, they got one Brewer's autograph. So, um, this is how this goes. So, one, two, three, four, five, one through five, uh, and then so on, six through whatever, and whatever through whatever, ending with 15 all the way to the end on right there. So, um, first three numbers I see are the boxes that we're going to use for this break. So, just comment literally as easy as comment one number, one number per person. First three numbers I see are the boxes that we're going to use. So, I let you guys choose. Something that I like to do, I'm not sure if a whole lot of other breakers like to do it, but I like to do it too, so, or I like to do it, so let you guys choose. So I see seven. So, you know, um, while you guys are choosing, I will go over the rules and I will share a little bit, bit about myself in case you decide to stay in this group. Um, so the rules are simple for this. Uh, any card that any team, that's where they're going to go to. Um, if I miss something, sleeved or top loaded, because I don't really know baseball too much, uh, let me know. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. Typically I do college football, so I have to go over a list of rules, like where cards go for the college uniforms. But um, a little bit uh, about myself is I am from Green Bay, Wisconsin, so that is why you see this here. I love the Packers. I'm not too big into baseball or basketball, although our basketball team just won the championship and is really good. Uh, Brewers aren't too great, um, but I am from Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm soon teaching right now, so I... Uh, any money? No, there's no teams left. Some uh, I will get to that in a second. Actually, um, any money I make is appreciated on my end because um, which is none for this break, unfortunately. But because I, as I'm soon teaching, I don't, I can't work, or I mean, I can't work, but not much. So, um, soon teaching is literally an unpaid internship. Uh, I actually just switched to high school not too long ago, so I'm soon teaching at high school now. Fayed. Um, and any money I make, it also goes towards obviously paying for what I purchase for the break and it, any profit I go or any profit I make goes to buy any future products so that I am able to do more breaks. Uh, as you see right here, I've got a ton of stuff. As you see, that's my next break. And if you, uh, let me see if I can zoom in. If you see over there, that right there. Plus, I have a, I have two other shelves. Uh, at least four, if not five thousand dollars worth of cards, and it's nothing great, but it it's enough to give me some decent profit for while I'm soon teaching right now. Um, so I'm doing you know some breaks with some middle tier stuff, I guess, which is. A good deal, because if you think about it, let's see, let's just pull off what team, Detroit Tigers. Whoever has Detroit Tigers paid 6 bucks and 50 cents plus shipping. Shipping is at cost. Six fifty for uh, 200 well, after tax, $215 worth of product, or 220 So, would you rather spend 220 or spend 650 for if you only care about the Tigers? So, but if you obviously want to rip it all then obviously buy it all but if you only care about the tigers obviously 650 is a very cheap price to pay for uh, a team and 220 dollars worth of product um so yeah any money i make which unfortunately wasn't any for this break is appreciated goes towards my 
uh, since I can't make any money soon teaching. Um, but I am from Green Bay, as what I said. And next season, my grandpa is going to transfer uh, two of his four season tickets into my name. So that's going to cost me $2,100 per seat plus a price per ticket each year. So that's going to be a hefty, hefty price. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to pull the boxes that you guys chose. So that's going to be a hefty price for uh, for me next year. So that's what I'm saving up for. Nothing nothing like too crazy. Just just some season tickets, you know. Um I'll get to, I'll say some more about that in a second. But uh I still need one more number, so we got box seven and box three. All you need to do is say a number one through uh five, ten, one through fifteen, besides seven and three, and though that's the box we will use. First number I see. So that's box three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's box seven. Oops. So box three and box seven. Thirteen. We'll go with thirteen. Or wait. Yep, thirteen. Seven, three. Thirteen, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Which will leave us with twelve more. So I I will be doing four more breaks. Same exact break, maybe. I mean I might switch it up because like what I said, literally no profit. So I'd probably switch it up actually. Um But uh Yeah, so Typically, if I make any money, I just, and there's true money, it goes to pay for the product so that I can do breaks. Stay in this group if you want. I sell the leftover teams, uh, like what you were asking, who was asking, Jay, are there any leftover teams? There aren't. Um, I sell all the leftover teams I don't sell, or like if someone doesn't pay, I sell them all um, on my group for a discount for cheap. I mean, there's no eBay fees, which is a huge thing. Plus, on eBay, I sell well over 20000 a year, so I won't get tax on it. And it's just uh, a lot better to sell it off eBay. So I do deals um, off eBay. Plus, they bought off me before. They helped get me some profit before. So, um, you know, got, that's my appreciation. Plus, like what I said, if I make any money, I will literally, I'll be more generous with supplies, and I will literally, like, take a bla an extra blaster, or maybe even an extra mega, throw it in. I mean, but anyways, so, um, here are the team names, just so everyone knows that they're watching the right break. Got Diamondbacks, the date is wrong, because I am very lazy with updating that. Which is no big deal. So there's the names. Gonna pull up the video quick. And then we will get rolling. Alright, it's already up. Alright, just gotta pull up Facebook though. So that I can approve people if the ones that haven't joined yet. So if you also do miss any part of this break. Or you will or have. You can rewatch it on my Facebook group. You can rewatch any break I do on my Facebook because that's where I go live. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. Um, I can only go live on one, either YouTube or Facebook. So that's why I choose Facebook because I can post the leftover teams. Um, I know most people have Facebook. Most people have Facebook. So. Um, but a few don't, so if you don't have Facebook or, well, everyone that's watching right now does have Facebook, but if you don't have Facebook and you're watching my breaks, then I, I upload it to YouTube after, after the break gets over with. You know, the Cardinals, um, let's see. Oh, I scrolled way down. Okay. Oh, um, where St. Louis? That's right. I was looking at Arizona. I was because typically I do football. So Jeremiah P. 
Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, have your shipping name, so Jeremiah B. was your shipping name. All right, so first blaster. Uh, last break I did, it was the same exact break, so four blasters. Um, I got, we got an auto, so the break before that, I did eight of these blasters and no megas, so I just did eight of these blasters, got zero autos. But the last break we did, we got an auto. I don't really know the, the odds for autos and any of this stuff. I don't really know baseball too well. Um, but I think that just breaks are fun, fun things to do. And I really enjoy cards. Although it's not my number one hobby. I, I could, I'll, I'm sure I'll mention my number one hobby in a little bit here. But Alex Kirloff. Eric Pena, Pena, Pena. I I will mispronounce a lot of these names, just so you know. Pete Alonso and Tyler Stephenson. I will actually cut all of the packs right away, the top, because I have the most difficult times with these packs. However, they made these uh. These packs for this platinum stuff is a pain. <laughs> it's tough. All right. Next pack. Jacob deGrom. Christian Yelich. Jai Huan Bay. And Matt Olson. Like I said, I will probably mispronounce a ton of these names, so... When you hear the, the names called, um, just know that. Javier Baez, uh, Chris McMahon, G. Arias, and Shaho something. I know he's the number one guy. I just don't know how to say his name too well. Shahoy Atani. We'll go with that. So this is Gabriel Arias. Charlie Blackman, Harry Berto Hernandez, Austin Hendrick, and Joey Vado. I know he's a number one guy, or not number one guy, but he's one of the top guys too. I play MLB The Show because I have an Xbox, and they finally made a, uh, the show game for Xbox, which is super cool. Shane Bieber, Alika Williams, Garrett Mitchell, and Pete Alonso. Not many rookies so far, I don't think. I'll have to double check. Mike Trout, Hudson Haskin, Shahoy uh, Atani. I'll see this one since that's a parallel of a really good name I know. And Max Scher Scherzer. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Tongue's gonna fall off after this break because I cannot pronounce any of these names. Chris Sale or. S We'll go with Sale. <laughs> John Diaz, Bobby Dalbeck, and Eloy Jimenez. Cahoy Aria, something. Austin Wells, Ken Brian Hayes, and you Darvish. All right, yeah, so I, I let you guys choose whatever... Um, Megas you wanted, so typically that's something I like to do is let uh, people in my break choose whatever box they want out of the bigger items. So like these, these aren't the bigger items, uh, which is why I was actually going to take them out of the break um, originally. Uh, if I wasn't going to make any money, that was one of the options because I know not a lot of people even care about them, to be honest. Uh, it's mostly just the Bowman Chrome. But I like to do my breaks like this, where it's two different, or not two different products, but as many products as I can is, is what I have. So if I would have optic, then I might have thrown some optic in too. Or... I like to have a lot of variety in my breaks. Keep my breaks around 200 to $300 worth of product. Uh, sometimes 400 for football, because I mostly do football. But... Um... Yeah, so 
I typically allow everyone in my break to choose the boxes for the bigger end stuff, which is obviously the Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, I just choose the smaller stuff because otherwise it would probably take too long. And I don't even think I have enough space on this table to show everything I have. So, I like to do it also so that you guys, well, if you watch any of my future breaks or past breaks, um, for a while my breaks, I've had terrible luck with my breaks, like just garbage, but lately it's been pretty good, like in football I think I opened a thousand dollar, I know I opened a thousand dollar, around eight hundred to a thousand dollar Trevor Lawrence card, um, some really good cards lately, and um, I do it so that you guys, you know, have some say in your own break and cause it's for you guys, not for me. And plus, uh, so you guys know that I'm not like giving you trash boxes or anything. Uh, Clayton Kershaw, Christopher Morrill, Casey Mize, and Blake Snell. <clears throat> Max Kepler, Jake Eater, Charlie Blackman, and Evan White. Spencer Howard, Ezekiel Duran, Matthew Allen. This one is numbered 2 out of 299. L super low number, and Cabrian Hayes. So, super low number, uh, Matthew Allen. Uh, one of the, one of my breaks actually. Um, I opened uh number one out of, I, th I think it was out of ninety nine. It might have been out of one fifty, but it was uh, I think it was my last break. I opened a number one out of fifty, which was super cool to see. But Joey Bart, Dylan, Dingler, Max Max uh something Acosa. And Aaron Judge. I know Aaron's a well-known or big name. Clark Schmidt. Gilberto Jimenez. We'll go with that. Uh, H. Kiersed. And J.D. Martinez. Francisco Lindor. Carmen. Oh, wow. Molodinsky, whatever. Mookie Betts and Lewin Diaz. Yon Mancata, Daniel Cabrera, Andrew Vaughn, and Paul Goldschmidt. Jake Cronenworth, Freddie Valdez. Alexander Vargas and Kierbert Ruiz. All right, next box. So box four or three. Sorry, two more after this. So doing all four, all four uh, Bowman Platinum. At first, I thought that this stuff might... Well, I don't know baseball too much, but I th like what I said. But at first, I thought this stuff might have been better than Chrome or um, Bowman. But, uh... <laughs> so, my first time I got this stuff, I did a break out of eight blasters. And after I opened up one pack, I was like, oh, yeah, now I see why people leave these on the shelf. But I like to throw stuff in, even if it's not great, because um, uh, for variety, so that you're not just chasing after one thing. Although I think, I think for this case, for baseball, I might just have to do some megas, like a break of just megas, because... Obviously, people only care... For care about Bowman I mean if you join this break and we're wanting some platinum um, cool I, I 
I, w I wouldn't, that would be shocking to me, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, Jorge Solar. I mean, I know that you can get autos out of here, but just the boxes that I've opened myself have not been too impressive, so that's why I say it's not too good, because it's, it's obviously lower end and only got one auto out of, like, 20 boxes. JT Ginn, Nick Lofton, and Buster Posey. And, like, every single number card out of this stuff is not a rookie. I have yet to get a rookie number card. It's also numbered to, like, 300, 200, you know. It's just not, not a great ROI, return on investment. Uh, Mookie Betts, Patrick Bailey. Dylan Carlson, and Eloy Jimenez. However, Bowman Chrome, I could definitely see how that would be a good return on investment if you open something at least half decent. Uh, Jazz Chrisholm, Ethan Hearn, George Springer, and Joey Votto. Or Voto. Ian Anderson, Tommy Henry, so, actually, we did get another auto, so that's cool. Jake Eater, again, uh, and Andres Gimenez. So this auto, again, also isn't a rookie, I don't believe. It's obviously no rookie. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how much an auto like this would run for, but compared to the other... Two or three. I'm not really... I'm sort of... So sort of confused with Bowman Chrome. Like, I've done some breaks with Bowman Megas and some breaks with Chrome Megas. But, uh... Very recently did I see a Bowman Chrome Mega. And I was like... What's the difference? Do they just combine each other or what? Um, I still don't know the difference really. But... I do like I do like that stuff. But here's the auto once again. So this is going to uh Miami. So we got two autos so far out of uh about twenty blasters. No rookies, <laughs> no really big names, unless Jake Eater is a big name, someone let me know. I doubt he is. Awesome Meadows, James Beard, Bryce Jarvis. And Whit Merrifield. Manny Machado, Drew Romo, Jay Jung, and Sixo Sanchez. I wish that there was just more rookies, you know, more rookie uh numbered cards, more rookie autos. So far, I haven't gotten any like rookie Number or auto card of anything out of this stuff. Alex Bohm, Emerson Hancock, Dylan Carlson, uh, rookie parallel, so I'll top load him, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Josh Donaldson, Robert Hassel, Nick Gonzalez, and Ha Seung Kim. All right, so one more blaster to go. Last blaster. Let's see, I think I have 16 left and Plus this one's a 17. I don't think I'm going to buy any more if I see them just because, like what I said, I thought that they were going to be a lot cooler. I should have watched some videos, but I thought that they were going to be a lot cooler or something. Just with the platinum name, you know, you see platinum and you're like, wow, that must be good. But in this case, I learned that Bowman Platinum is... Not, not great. 
can I mean I don't know unless someone wants to uh give me some more knowledge on <laughs> why it would be considered good I just you know would think when you hear the word platinum that it must be good <laughs> In other words, I compare it to, let's say, out of Football Chronicles. You know, Chronicles is fun to rip. It's mass-produced. Hits aren't great. Well, hits are good if you if you only want the big names, or if you want an easy shot at getting a hit, but. Hits aren't anything in Chronicles football, anything to brag about for the most part. <laughs> but they're more common since there's just more of it. Alrighty, last blaster, and then we'll, we'll go to those megas. Cody Bellinger, Gage Workman, Joey Bart, and Gliber Torres. Clayton Kershaw, Jack Kachowicz, something, Kettle Marte, and Tristan McKenzie. Max Kepler, Jamari Baylor. All right, so we do have a pink number card. So this is 113 out of 199. Jeremy De La Rosa. And Blake Snell. So this one is pink. I think one. I think I've only opened up one other pink. A few green ones. I think the lowest number that I've gotten was out of fifty. But once again, not a rookie. Is I'm a little shocked and confused that none of the autos or number cards are rookies. Like it, I just, I don't get it. Spencer Howard, Jordan Diaz. Ed Howard and Evan White. Joey Bart. Carson Tucker. C. Savilly. Cavalier. Cavalier, I think. And Cabrian Hayes. Cade Cav Cavalier, yep. All right, three packs left. Clark Schmidt, Garrett Mitchell, Ryan Mountcastle. I know he's one of the bigger name rookies, and Aaron Judge. So rookie parallel will get top loaded. Uh, Francisco Lindor, Austin Hendrick, Hedbert Perez, and J.D. Martinez. I don't think he's a rookie, is he? No. Uh, I'll double check with these also. Yon Mancada, Daxon Fulton, Patrick Bailey. I looked a little. That looked cool for a second. Like I thought it might have been someone else, but it's just insert and Lewin Diaz. Right, so once again, if you miss or have missed any part of this break, um, you could rewatch it on on my group here. After it's done, I think that you could even rewind it right now if you really wanted to. Um, but just so you know, it'll be up on this group afterwards. Alright, moving on to the Megas. We will do, what number was this? I think this one was 13. Yeah, this one was 13, I think. So, whoever chose 13, I think this is your box. Well, if there's anything good pulled, you could thank uh, whoever whoever chose these three boxes. Whoever chose box three, box seven, and box 13. And if there's nothing good pulled, then you could thank them also. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but these are the three boxes that I let you guys choose to, 
turret for this brake. A little something that I like to let you guys do for the brake. Alright, so these are the Mega Box packs. Shuffle these up. Like what I said last break, I started off with 15, now we're down to uh, 12. So, we've only opened up three, and out of the three, we got a Brewer's autograph. I d it wasn't a rookie autograph, that's all I know. I don't even, I never even heard of the player, but there was a rookie autograph. Or not a uh, Brewer's autograph, that's, that was the biggest card that we opened in the last one. Tyler Stephenson, Nate Pearson, Sam Huff, Kettle Marte, and Kyle Lewis. Xander Bogertz, Akil Badu. Wrong piles. Yerman Mer Mercedes, Jose Garcia, and Garrett Crotchet. Now these packs are a lot easier to rip. Brian Reynolds, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Yadir Molina, Alex Kirloff, and Jesus Sanchez. Dalton Varsho, Ryan Mountcastle, Luis Garcia, Luis Campusano, and Chris Bryant. All right, last pack before the two Mega Box uh, special packs: Jordan Alvarez, Max Scherzer, Shazier, whatever, Matt Chapman. Buster Posey, oh, and Awesome Meadows. And these, that pack had no rookies, I don't think, so that, those ones go over there. Alrighty, so moving on to the Mega Box uh, packs. Justin Foscu, Eduardo Garcia, this is a first. Matthew Allen. This is a rookie card. I believe, I think I discovered that these are rookies, so let's put that down there. Josiah Gray and Gabriel Rodriguez first. So, so far, Indians and Brewers. I think the same person chose. Those teams didn't even sell. And those were the first two firsts. Usually how it goes. All right, we do have an orange. I'm not sure what this would be. Looks cool, though. Adley Rushman. Jaron Duran. Uh, what is this? Outfield Jason, uh, Jason Domin Dominguez. Whatever. Is it numbered or anything? I don't know. I've never seen this one, but then again, this is only the um, fourth fourth box I've opened. Grayson Rodriguez and Jordan Adams. So out of that first uh, first mega, it was two teams that didn't even sell on on eBay. So usually how it goes. I once had a guy. Well, I once had a guy in one of my breaks not pay for. Uh, team. He had the Steelers, didn't pay for the Steelers. No, literally the only one in the break that didn't pay for the Steelers. He was wanting a discount on the team, and I said no, so he just never paid. And he, I think he had the Steelers for like 20-some bucks. Or he would have had the Steelers for 20-some bucks. And the only one that didn't pay. And... In that break, I opened up a 
Najee Harris autograph card out of Prism Draft Picks, which was out of a Javi H2 box. So, needless to say, he was disappointed, upset that I sold his team off, and I was like, dude, in, in the rules, it says, in the rules of my break, it says that you have to pay within 30 minutes. <laughs> That's a break, and he never paid. So, I sold off his team, and wh whoever uh, snagged up the Steelers that break got quite a good card. That's all I'll say, so... Um, Long story short, typically that's how it goes, is the teams that don't sell or the teams that don't get paid are the ones that um, that have the better cards. Yeah, you, d you did. I mean, I don't know how much these firsts are worth, but I'd imagine at least five bucks each. So, and, yeah. I don't know, though. Could be more. Probably more, actually. I don't know. I'm shocked, though, that, that a good Brewers card came out because, like what I said the last break, is a Brewers Auto. So these all came from the same store. Um, and I know, typically, I think I know that they like to send them based off of areas. So, like in Wisconsin, there should be some decent Brewers that come out, but not always the case. But, uh, them, Domingo, okay. Domingo's, all right, thank you for letting me know. He might be over something. Nate Pearson. My right, rookie. Sam Huff. Kate, uh, Kito Marte. Kyle Lewis. And Jesus. Bizarro. Geraldo Perdomo. Javier Baez. Juan Soto. Brian Reynolds. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Mike. Mike has bun. Mike and John. They snagged the other teams off me. They have been very supportive with the leftover teams. Um, so, f as I was saying before, any leftover teams, I post some deals. I did a deal. Mike took three, or took four, I think. Four for 16. And then uh, John took three, the remaining three teams for 13 bucks. Plus shipping. They had to pay for shipping, which is at cost. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Again, uh, Yadir Molina, Alex Kirloff, Jesus Sanchez, and Tyler Stephenson. Oh, I opened up. My bad. I, I will not reveal that right away. I opened up the wrong pack. My phone was blocking the pack, so I crafted from the wrong pile. I won't show that yet, though. Uh, Spencer Howard, Geraldo Perdomo, Javier Baez again. I always, okay, the last break it was like that where typically there's no duplicates in the same boxes, but I've th that's at least a second or third duplicate out of this box, and I find that a little strange that there's actually duplicates in these boxes. Juan Soto and Brian Reynolds, or Reynolds, I, I don't get it why there's duplicates in this box. But Yadier Molina, Alex Kirloff, Jesus Sanchez, St Tyler Stephenson, and Nate Pearson. Alright, moving on to this pack that I had opened on accident. Nick Gonzalez, Nolan Gorman. Manuel Bel Belter, I don't know how to say his name, Kevin Maid, and Matthew Allen. So Chicago and uh, Toronto. Or no. Yeah, Toronto have moved up. They have some firsts, and it looks like another first. So 
twins now. Gilberto something. Jared Kelly. Hedbert Perez, Milwaukee Brewers. Another first. And another one. Holy cow. Four firsts in this pack. Melvin Valdez and Helcris Overes. Holy cow. Four firsts out of that pack. Or was that five? No, I think four. Holy cow. That was that was a good pack. All right. Get top of those quick. And then we will do the last box. The last box of the break. These are some nice cards. And I, I know that these are the main attraction. So um, if you want to rewatch the video, you can hear me. Before I started the break, go on a rant on, on um, what? Well, the message that the messages that I was sending. I was going to. I was originally going to either cancel the break or just take some boxes out because, um, I'm not making any money, or not much if I'm making any on this break. Uh, this break on eBay. I'm like after eBay fees shipping or after eBay fees, I'm sorry. Um it is at 2 what was it? At? After this break, after eBay fees 221. So 221 bucks and I just opened or I'm going to open now 200 and about $221 worth of products. And that doesn't include top loaders, supplies, everything that I had to pay for, bubble mailers, <laughs> um shipping uh or the like thirty dollar ebay fee or ebay store that i have so <clears throat> the other teams off ebay i made about 30 bucks so i should be breaking even if not making a few bucks at least but nothing too crazy plus i spent about six hours sorting the cars which is um takes a lot of work too plus there's tape there's just so much expenses and that's why i was going to cancel the break rather than just take some boxes out to save the headache but my math was wrong um at least you know biggest concern is whether or not i'm going to lose money or not and that wasn't the case so i was like since i'm not losing any money then i will keep it because that's i'd much rather I don't want to lose money, but I would rather keep the break going if I at least break even. So that you guys could at least, you know, join my group if you want. Stay in this group and catch some other cheap teams off of me. For football, basketball, baseball, I do it all. Sell for cheaper off eBay. So here we go. Last Mega Box. Joy Vato. Cody Bellinger, Bellinger, I don't know how to say his name, uh, Gliber Torres, Mike y something, and Jose Abreu. Gliber Torres, is this another one? <laughs> Jeez. See, that's what I'm saying. Some duplicates. I don't get it. I don't get it. Another duplicate, Mike. <laughs> oh, what the? Ronald Aquino Jr. and Taylor Trammell. So those last two cards weren't duplicates. I don't get. I don't get this. Like, is this? Oh, there we. Go. <laughs> is this common? Like, I. I literally don't do anything to these boxes. They're all sealed. Like, I, I'll pull out any of them. They're all sealed. But I don't get why there's. So many duplicates. <laughs> okay. Tra Taylor Trimmel. So that's two duplicates. Uh, Christian Javier. Oh, he's a rookie. Braylon Marquez. And Cabrian Hayes. I don't get it. Chris 
Christian Javier, <laughs> Braylon Market. Is this a duplicate too? It is. What the? Good Brian A's. What the world? Chess Christian, William Contreras. What in the world? There's just so many rookies. This is the weirdest box ever. Chess. What the? Chess Christian, William Contreras, Tanner, Hulk. Nick Madrigal and Hassan Kim. What in the world? There was like, all those cards were rookies, but they were so many duplicates. Like, is this common? Someone, I don't know. Someone let me know. I've, I don't remember this from the other boxes that I've opened. But just so many rookies and so many duplicates. I think every card had at least two of them. Alrighty, on to the. Special packs. Last ones. Ali Rushman. Jaron Duran. Luis Toribio. Helcris Alvarez. And Matthew Libertor. Libertor. Alrighty, last pack. Nick York, Alexander Mojica, go with him, Asa Lacey, CJ Abrams, and the last card is Tyler Soderstorm. Tyler Soderstorm. So no auto. It'll be interesting to see how many other autos we get out of the 12 boxes. Um, but that was a break, so thank you all. A lot of times it has to do with the order the cards are printed in. Oh, okay. Um, that's, that's so strange. I don't know. Just I, I've never seen that with tops. I'm I, like I've never seen that with Panini or tops or before like before this stuff. And then that box, that last box. Maybe it's because I noticed it more, but that last box literally had so many duplicates. But anyways. Um, that was a break. Uh, thank you all for joining. Um, I will be doing a lot of other breaks uh, like this. I might, I'll probably switch up the um, product. So I'll probably do just mega boxes so that I'm at least make some money. Um, but if you want to stay in this group, stay me as a seller. Um, I will post the leftover teams for cheap um the ones that don't sell hopefully there's not many of those typically there aren't but for this break for some reason i mean i don't know i don't know if i put some information in wrong that just had you like just had the break not show up or what but anyways um yeah a lot of first so a lot more first actually than the last break i will say that just no auto so um save me as a seller and remember if you've been on my any of my teams um i have the starting bid at 5.99 but that's not what i like it to sell for i like at least to it to sell for at least 10 because at 10 that's well more than a fair deal like if you have san francisco how much does san francisco sell for let's just pull up san francisco San Francisco sold for six bucks, but I have it started out at, and this card alone has got to be six bucks. So, you're getting an amazing deal <laughs> for two hundred twenty dollars worth of product. Um, plus, you got all of this that I have to sort out too. So, you're getting every card, not just one. You're getting every card. So, anyways, that is the break. Yeah, I know. O's, uh, Oakland and Yankees. I was surprised that the Yankees were to, were available too. Very surprised about that. Um, I'll have to check and see if I typed anything in wrong, listed it wrong. Same in the group for like twenties. Pick one, get one. Um, I I I could I will more than, uh, I will be more than 
happy to to try something like that like tr try some random teams or try some um do you know do any sort of break off ebay but uh in my group i have not a lot of people that want that or that go into that but my group's still growing every every single every single uh break it grows so i i can always try it um again but we can we, we shall see if uh I I mean honestly I might I might try that next some random team or something like that but yeah All right so that that was a break I'll end this video um hopefully, hopefully uh I see you all in the next one see ya